right, we are back with Lisa Waters Lane. She comes each week with your garden questions. How you doing, babe? I'm good. My gal. Yeah. So I'm lots good. of stuff going on. It's like you're juggling. <laughs> Spring is sprung. It's wow, starting. I look dirty. Oh my gosh. I, this is when you should not have a camera on you <laughs> for the blog folks, the blog people, the audio. Audio folks, it's the radio. You're yeah. loving this right, right now. It's really good. You don't have to look at all the dirt. If I've been moving all those, getting ready for those trees are unloading. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're a little. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> we both have days that we could look like that though. Depending yeah. on the day, a little little wind worn, chop worn. It's been chilly. I'd rather still be outdoors oh, in yeah. the chill. You just wrap up. I got my yeah. you know mitten hat on stuff, just mm -hmm. thicker insulated gloves. We have hand warmers we pass out to people. Yep. You just dress for it. I'd oh, still yeah. rather be outdoors and stuck inside behind some keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great job. You get to Oh, yeah. Do you do some tax stuff, some accounting stuff, some insurance mm -hmm. stuff, some lawyer stuff, some inventory supply stuff, unload truck stuff. It's like you never get bored. There's That's always small and then you get to play with plants. Plan. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps your brain active and your body active. You should mention what kinds of folks because we're hiring right now uh -huh. and we're taking applications and just kind of if you were thinking about maybe make working at a someplace awesome <laughs> now's the time to jump an amazing up. garden center at an amazing garden center <laughs> the best garden center to work for mm -hmm. in the country for That's 2021 true. that was last year mm -hmm. and and it's not like we staged it the staff said hey boss you should we we could win this mm -hmm. and then they go and interview all of your people this is very intimidating uh you don't have any control and then your peers kind of pick you out of the out of a thousand. I think there's fifteen thousand garden centers in the country. We're number one, so it's just like, how We're does that even one. happen? We're number one. Let's get in Prescott, Arizona. <laughs> I mean, how what is that? So it's I'm still yeah. awestruck, but we got a great team. We do. And we're always looking to add to our team. So for people who like being outdoors, that like helping customers, like other people, uh, like plants, hey, we're the place for you. I created a meme to go through our social media uh, stuff. It says, um, we like girls. What did I say? Um, if you don't mind getting dirty, come, come get, get, we're looking for folks that don't mind dirt or base, something like that. I'm yeah. so tired, I guess. I can't <laughs> yeah. The it. words no what come that? today. <laughs> no, usually I'm better than this. Ugh. Well, we, we, we have a really great <laughs> staff. Uh, we have great people. We do great training. Um, if you think it's something you'd be interested in, maybe you have a completely different background. Maybe you have an oh, accounting yeah. background, but you're thinking, hey, I'm, or, are you recently retired or looking for a change? Uh, we're a great place to be. You know, I did. I was thinking we, we have a weakness in our back office. We have an awesome bookkeeper, great data entry, but there's no one to back them up. And so we kind of need to add to that office bookkeeping, accounting mm -hmm. kind of person but but not just behind debits and credits, not just in an office and a desk. Right. You're out helping us with the plants too. So you mm -hmm. learn the different pieces of that, which right. which is the fun part. So you're not just, oh, paperwork. Here we go. <laughs> More paperwork. Right. Uh, which cut the checks on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So if you're a bookkeeping kind of folks, you want something more than just bookkeeping, we're right. we're hiring those you folks. Mm -hmm. But uh, cashiers, a uh, hiler with the back dock. We, we've got mm -hmm. a great young man that just He's awesome, but I need to get him a couple other folks kind of help him right. kind of go a sales. But this is a place for retired people. Mm -hmm. If you're retired and kind of bored, we this is the greatest place. We're super flexible. We'll give you time off to visit grandkids, play with your golf buddies, go whatever, mm -hmm. two days a week or whatever. It doesn't have to be full time, nine to five, the grindstone. If you're retired. We understand that. So, but it's a great, we've got quite a few, uh, what, three of our retired folks are coming back. Oh, yeah. And they just want one or two days a week. Mm -hmm. We've got room for more. So anyway, that's, right. if it's of interest and you like plants, you don't have and to know people. plants. You have to like people. You have too. to like people. That's yeah. probably a better way to do it. Yeah. It's people first. <laughs> and we like connecting people right. with plants. Enough about go. that. So plant what about garden questions sure. which is what this whole segment's all about let me get that camera kind of settled there we go there perfect uh, now motion sickness okay <laughs> <It can be. laughs> 
<laughs> so Jennifer has a question. Her peach tree had already started to bloom. Uh oh. And of course, we had this cold that came through. Yeah. Bitter cold. But she's worried now. Do you think the tree could be damaged from that cold? Will she say where she's through? at? What was her name? Where she went? Where she Jennifer. At? She Jennifer? didn't say where she's at. Oh, dang it. Well, Jennifer. Soon somewhere in the quad city area yeah so so jennifer um so you've got the wrong peach tree it's going to be beautiful it's going to treat it like a shade tree it's going to have pretty or blooming uh, like a crab apple or blooming red bud it's going to have pretty flowers it is so rare that you're ever going to get fruit on that particular plant because it blooms so early that you j just enjoy the fall color they got that beautiful orange and gold great shade in the summer but but you're not going to get if it's blooming now you've got a desert variety that's triggered they have so many chilling hours mm -hmm. and so some plants some trees fruit trees at 150 200 hours the desert varieties they're they're going to bloom yeah. well we've got another three months of frost to go so it's triggered to bloom too early we want mountain hardy uh, fruit trees that need instead of 250 hours we need a thousand hours so it needs there's they actually track how many cold nights so it's it's below freezing after so many hours they go okay now it's time and they bloom mm -hmm. so plants are really smart and so the <laughs> desert varieties they get tricked into coming out early mm -hmm. and so it won't kill them it's just, but it'll take the fruit for them so that's where that's where if you buy your fruit from the wrong place I've seen avocados, <laughs> citrus gr sold at other garden centers, yeah. mainly box stores, uh, where the buyer just goes, yes, in 50 at all my stores. And then you go buy it because you think, oh, it's good. First of all, never buy a plant that's from a warehouse. That is totally wrong. And it's unhealthy for the for the tree and oh, well, can i gonna, go on my soapbox he's box, gonna get on a soapbox and i'll have to yank him off so, of it i know it's convenient it was cheap but there's a reason it's gonna die don't waste your energy have you tried to dig a hole put a good tree in there from Wait, water's garden done? center <laughs> anyway there we go okay we'll move I'm on i'm feeling better now <laughs> <laughs> kind of inside it's warm <laughs> off the forklift moving pallets around so the energy is coming back <laughs> okay good well we'll move on to the next one you can put some put some energy into that one this one's from tom hey tom he is out in prescott valley hey. he has an austrian pine that has this clear sticky oh, yeah. sappy i yeah. uh, wants to know is it the disease yeah. what could it be and should he be concerned you should be concerned and it's super unusual now hopefully this cold front that we had come through this is what we need more of we need more you know mm -hmm. teen single digits that's what kills off aphids tom you have aphids and the aphids have been horrible they naturally go on to the pine trees so pinion pines the ponderosas and they're winged so they just fly around going ah there's too much competition on this this tree's getting stressed i'm gonna fly over here and eat tom's tree so they go and eat the sap they, they pierce at the top of the tree they've got a piercing mouth part that kind of sucks the juice out and then the excrement or we call it honeydew excrement honeydew i don't know how they get honeydew out of that but aphid <laughs> poo uh, starts coming out sticky. and that's what you're seeing that glossy that yeah. um looks glistening. like water almost so, yeah sort branches. of like that and so that's what it is um, is it is it a concern? It isn't going to kill your tree right away, but it will stress it out. Yeah. And if it left unchecked, yes, mm -hmm. you, you just you don't want to leave it unchecked, especially now because you're within, you know, five, four, six weeks of the new growth. And then they'll really go after that and they can affect the new growth. Mm -hmm. So come in. We've got a, an aphid killer. There's some organics. Triple action works really great. Actually, um, we've got a horticultural oil, which yeah. is oh, just super and very very safe for your dogs you mm -hmm. can probably spray your kids with it no wouldn't recommend no it. <laughs> that's, that's not what, follow the labels what we gotta you gotta tell you yeah but it's it's organic it's safe and it mm -hmm. obliterates aphids so yeah. and and the eggs that might come up so mm -hmm. great questions this week on, sure. on fruit trees and aphids ken and lisa lane the mountain gardeners we'll be right back after this